In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about using ChatGPT on iPhone, from the features you get with Siri as part of Apple Intelligence, to what your alternative options are if your iPhone doesn't support Apple Intelligence. Let's get into it. Let's start with the requirements for using ChatGPT on iPhone via Apple Intelligence. You'll need to have an iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, or any iPhone 16 or newer. For some Apple Intelligence features, you'll need to be running at least iOS 18.1, but ChatGPT requires iOS 18.2. Then you'll need to go to Settings, Apple Intelligence and Siri, and toggle Apple Intelligence on. Then you're going to scroll down to Extensions, click ChatGPT, click Setup. Tap through to enable ChatGPT, or if you have an existing account, now is a good time to pair it, although you can also do this later. So now you should be able to experience ChatGPT on your iPhone. And before I take you through more of the settings, I'll point out that the phone I'm using here is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Tom's Guide considers it one of the best phones you can buy now, so I included a link to the latest iPhone 16 deals in the description. Back to ChatGPT on iPhone. There's a couple of settings here to point out. I already mentioned you can link your ChatGPT account here at any time. You'll also see that you get a limited number of advanced capabilities, meaning that there's a number of complex Siri interactions you can have per day and it resets every 24 hours, unless you get ChatGPT Plus that costs $20 per month. If you're regularly going over the free limit with complex requests, that might be worth it for you. Moving on, you see another toggle that asks you whether you want Siri to confirm a ChatGPT request. So it'll ask your permission whether you want ChatGPT to process the request. Do you want me to use ChatGPT to answer that? This is a good thing to enable if you're not using ChatGPT+. Finally, there's a prompt here to install the ChatGPT app for iPhone, but I'll get back to that in just a bit. Now let's talk about what ChatGPT on the iPhone can actually do. ChatGPT can do the normal ChatGPT things, like draft an email, give you ideas for activities to do with your kids, create a sample trip itinerary, and more. If you're looking for some inspiration, I linked a good guide on some ChatGPT prompts to try in the description. Pretty much everything I've described so far with the ChatGPT experience that's integrated on iPhone with Siri is exclusive to Apple Intelligence. But if your phone doesn't support Apple Intelligence, you can still download the ChatGPT app for iPhone. It's free, it's been available even before Apple Intelligence was announced, and it's generally very easy to use. You don't even need an account for basic prompts, which is nice, but if you want to use ChatGPT voice or work with more complex queries, again, you might want to subscribe to ChatGPT+. One final way to elevate your ChatGPT experience on iPhone, regardless of whether you're using Apple Intelligence, is through shortcuts. As long as you have the ChatGPT app on your phone, in shortcuts, you're able to set up some specific instances when you want to engage with ChatGPT. I've seen people replacing Siri with ChatGPT through shortcuts, launching ChatGPT through the action button. Honestly, you can get pretty creative if you're a shortcuts pro. Thanks to Apple Intelligence, a lot more people are probably going to use ChatGPT more regularly, especially since it's integrated with Siri. OpenAI and Apple partnering on this is a pretty big deal, but it tells us that we should also expect more to come. For now, let me know if you're going to try any of these features out yourself. For more on ChatGPT and the iPhone, follow us across all of our social channels at Tom's Guide. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonhour.